10 News at 5 starts now. It's not this the way the students or administrators at a local high school wanted to end the year. Several seniors say they will not be able to take part in graduation because of a food fight that happened at the school's cafeteria. At least a dozen students were suspended because of that fight. Jill Monier joins us live from Santan Valley with the details. They won't be able to walk in the graduation. That's what the students are saying here at Combs High School near uh, Germain and Ironwood. The principal says as of right now, 12 students are suspended. Although students here say anywhere between 50 and 60 students were involved in this food fight. It happened on the other side of the school here. It was supposed to be a senior prank, they told us. They said last year students graffitied the school, so they felt this pales in comparison. But they say the punishment is too harsh. Video posted on a student's Facebook page shows part of a food fight in the cafeteria of Combs High School in Santan Valley Friday. This is a horse fight, this is a fish stick, so that's like, this is like a few milk cartons. It was just like a movie, honestly. Everyone was involved, it was crazy. Wyatt Ford still had remnants of a hot pocket on his shirt, but what started as a senior prank turned serious when students started getting suspended. I went to the principal's office, I asked her if there was any alternative punishment. I told her I would clean it up myself, like every day after school, I would stay after, you know, I'd help pick up the cafeteria. And she said there's no option out of this. She's like, no way, you're being suspended for the rest of the school year. Seniors like Hunter Boren were told they weren't going to be able to walk at graduation. She told me I was suspended, told me I wasn't allowed to walk at graduation. She told me I can't be in the stands, I can't even be on campus when it's going on. It's a senior prank, while Boren's mother doesn't like the fact he was involved in a food fight. She thinks the punishment is too harsh. And I asked her, can he even take his finals? And she said, no, he'll have to take them Wednesday and Thursday after school which Thursday night is graduation, so we won't even know until probably the week after graduation if he's even graduating. While many seniors are upset that they won't be able to walk, some are still laughing it off. Was it worth it? I thought it was worth it. I had a blast. It was a great day. <laughs> And even though that last student was laughing, the seniors here especially are taking this really hard. No one was hurt. No permanent damage was done. The principal released a statement just moments ago saying, with bad decisions comes consequences. We followed the guidelines. Four consequences outlined in the student handbook. She says, I hope lessons were learned and says, quote, I'm proud every day of students at Combs. Today, I was disappointed. We have our full statement on our website at myfoxphoenix.com. Reporting live in Santan Valley, Jill Monier, Fox 10 News.